the amount you see here can be represented as a mixed number. The number of whole parts, which is 2, plus the number of fractional parts, which is 3 fifths. So it could be represented by the mixed number 2 and 3 fifths. But the same amount can also be represented by the total number of fractional parts as an improper fraction. And in this case, if you add up the fractional parts, you have 5 plus 5 plus 3, which is 13, and they're fifths. So as an improper fraction, the same amount could be represented as 13 fifths. So the number, the mixed number 2 and 3 fifths is equal to the improper fraction 13 fifths. They're equivalent. They represent the same value. And every mixed number can be converted to an improper fraction. So this mixed number 1 and 1 third represents 1 whole plus 1 third of the whole. So to convert it to an improper fraction, you change the whole part to fraction parts using the same fra fraction part as the fraction, which in this case is 3. So we divide the whole thing into thirds, just like the fractional part is. And you can see that once it's divided by 3 into thirds, you can add up the fractional parts to see that as a, an improper fraction, this could be represented as 4 thirds. In this example, we have a mixed number 2 and a half, which of course is represented by two whole parts and half of a whole part. So once again, we take the whole parts and we divide them the same way the fraction is divided, using the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction, to determine that. So we divide the whole parts into halves, and then it's quite easy to determine how many fractional parts we have to represent it as an improper fraction, which is five halves. And a third example, one and one quarter. So again, that would be represented by one whole part plus a quarter of a whole part. And we take the whole part and we divide it the same way, the same fractional parts as represented by the denominator, the four. Divide the whole part into four and add up the fractional parts. And as a, an improper fraction, this would be represented by five fourths. Now, as you become more familiar with converting, converting mixed numbers to improper fractions, you might be able to use this little shortcut that I'm going to show you. To convert 2 and 3 fifths to an improper fraction, you could draw it out as shown previously. Or you may notice that when you convert the two whole parts to fraction parts based on the denominator, in this case fifths, you get the same result as you would by multiplying the whole number by the denominator, or 10 fifths in this case. You also have the additional 3 fifths, so the total here is 13 fifths. So I'll just go over those steps one more time. Take the whole number and multiply it by the denominator. So in this case, 2 times 5 is 10. Then add the numerator, in this case 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. And place that value over the denominator 5. So here we'll have 13 fifths. In this example, you have 1 and 1 third. Again, you could draw out the one whole part and divide it into three parts based on the denominator here or just multiply the 1 times the 3 to get 3, add the numerator 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, and place it over the denominator 4 thirds. One last example, 3 and 2 fifths. Again, you could draw out 3 whole parts and divide it into fifths, then add the 2 fifths, or you could just multiply the whole number 
by the denominator 5 to get 15. Add the numerator 2, 15 plus 2 is 17, and put it over the denominator 5, or 17 fifths. So either method will give you exactly the same result, and that's how you convert a mixed number to an improper fraction.